Welcome back, viewers. Today, we will be testing the Larry Williams 9.1 indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched our first video and the videos after that, you need to go do that now. At the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. And as a team, we will all profit from it when we are done. You can find a link to the first video down below. You can also find a link to sign up for TradingView down below. If you use the link below, you will save a little bit of money. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Discord is a free group communication platform. On our Discord server, we are having great conversations about all things regarding trading. One of the biggest struggles on this channel is people who use other platforms like MT4 being able to follow along. Sometimes it can be hard to find the indicators we are using on other platforms. And so on our Discord server, I have created a channel for indicator creation. And on that channel, I pinned links to freelancers who can code indicators for MT or for TradingView. So if you don't want to create a TradingView account, you can hire a freelancer for a really small fee and have them code an indicator for the MT platform or if you are on TradingView and need an indicator created, something unique or an indicator for a system you have developed, you can also have them code PineScript. So use the link for either MT4 coding or use the link for PineScript. Lastly, I get a lot of people that are asking me for the entire list of all the winning indicators that we have tested to date. And uh, whereas I am not a big uh, proponent of gatekeeping information, I've put a lot of time and effort into creating the content on my YouTube channel. And so I don't think it is too much to ask for the viewers to go through and view the content that I have spent a lot of time uh, creating. Now, if you are not interested in supporting our channel by going back and watching the content that I have created, then I have uh, developed a solution for you. I have created a Patreon account. I will put a link to it down below in the description. If you sign up for Patreon and you sign up for the $9 a month account, I will send you the full list of tested and winning indicators to date. I will also send you an updated list of the indicators that we are testing at the end of each week. Now, of course, you have to stay subscribed to the $9 uh, subscription, monthly subscription, to continue to receive the updated list of indicators. But that way, it will provide me with the support that I need to continue to provide the free uh, content that I am putting out for everybody to view. Now, if you just love the channel in general and want to support us, then there is also a lower, uh, I think, $3 Patreon subscription that you can sign up for that will also help support the channel and keep things going so that way I can continue to produce the content and the open information that we are creating here in this channel and in our Discord server. Again, if you have not signed up for our Discord, then you need to do that as well. It is a absolutely free platform where we have real-time ability to chat and have conversations about trading. And again, if you want to support the channel with Patreon, then you can find the link down below in the description. All right, as I said today, we will be testing the Larry Williams 9.1 indicator. 
But before we do, I wanted to put the indicator scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested 133 indicators. And out of those 133 indicators, 55 of them have been winners, which means that they have met or exceeded the 60% win-loss ratio threshold that we have set for them. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. But as we are working on building the best trading system possible, you could take any one of those 55 indicators and get out there and start potentially profitably trading the markets with them now. So go back and watch those videos, make a list of those indicators, and get out there and see what you can do with them. But stick with this here as we work on maximizing your trading profits. All right, so as I said, today's indicator is the Larry Williams 9.1 indicator. It is a TradingView member created indicator. And as you could probably guess, it is based off of the Larry Williams 9.1 strategy. And so uh, the setup of the indicator is relatively easy. Basically, you have the single line right here, and it turns green and it turns red. When it is giving a long signal, it paints the candle white. When it's giving a short signal, it paints the candle in black. And so it's a pretty easy, uh, pretty easy setup to trade. Now, before we get into testing the indicator today, there is something that I wanted to throw out there. So I love the fact that uh, tons of you viewers out there uh, are having conversations and throwing out questions and commenting on all the videos. I definitely love the feedback and I love the interaction with all the videos. Uh, now, what I notice is that it seems like there are some viewers out there who are not watching the videos in their entirety and then they are jumping in the comment section and uh, critiquing uh, ways we do things or asking questions that have been asked multiple times before. And so, um, whereas I am not trying to discourage people from asking questions or voicing their opinion, uh, what I would say is that if you are not watching the videos in their entirety, if you're not watching each video and watching it all the way through, um, then, um, you know, it's it's going to be hard for you to carry on any kind of dialogue in the comment section. And again, I say this because it's blatantly obvious when a person putting a comment up has not watched the videos completely through. As I'm doing the testing process, I am off, often carry on uh, carrying on conversations about other things, about uh, the way we do things or trading strategies, philosophies, whatever, what have you. And so uh, again, a lot of the times it's not just me quietly sitting here letting the indicator play out and me marking uh, you know, the signals as, as they go through. Often it is me explaining things or answering questions that uh, people have put into the comments and so um, I tend to see uh, kind of the, the same questions asked multiple times. And I have answered them multiple times, not only in my uh, very earlier videos, but I have also answered them multiple times in other videos as I am trading indicators. And so uh, again, it's, it's obvious that uh, some of the viewers out there who are posting questions or commenting, commenting on the videos have not watched all those videos. And so, again, uh, I ask that if you are going to carry on a dialogue, ask questions, um, you know, critique the way we do things, then please go back and watch the videos all the way through. So that way you have the answers to the, the things that you are commenting on or the questions you're asking. So... Um, sometimes if I'm not answering your questions in the comments, it's very possible that they've been answered before multiple times. Um, and then sometimes I just 
you know, I, I try to get to the comments, but uh, as I've said before, it's super, YouTube makes it super difficult for me to follow the comment section. Uh, in my opinion, I feel like it's super difficult. It's not, it's not very well laid out. I feel like they could do a lot better job at uh, structuring the back end comment section for the creators. So there's that possibility as well. Uh, but yes, I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, I mean, I understand not everybody's going to want to watch every single video and they're not going to want to watch every single video all the way through. But if you want to be a part of the team and you want to add to um, the dialogue, you want to add to the ideas and the creativeness of the channel, then you know, you're, you're going to have to watch all the videos. You're going to have to watch them all the way through. Otherwise, you're just going to be vastly behind everyone else. So, all right. Now that that is out of the way, like I said, uh, we, the indicator here is, is pretty easy. It's uh, pretty easy to read when we get a black candle. That is a short. When we get a white candle, that is a long. And so, all right, let's get on with the testing process uh, and see what we can get out of this indicator. Let's see, did we, no, we weren't quite into the year yet. All right, so right off, you can see that we have some price action here. We've had a strong push up. Seems like it is starting to um, uh, kind of form a head and shoulder pattern here. Price action seems like it's dwindling lot of uh, wicks on top so it looks like this is about to roll over possibly start um, heading down to the short side of course not before um, we get some some movement here some spikes uh, coming from uh, the the manipulators of the market Let's see what we got going on here. All kinds of things. And it looks like here we get a signal and it doesn't work out for us. There we get a signal. Doesn't work out for us. There we get a signal. Doesn't work out for us. Oh, come on now. There we go. And then we finally pick up a short right here. That does work in our favor. It does get us to the first take profit. All right, coming down here, we pick up a long here off this one. That one gets us to take profit also. Then we get this short here. But almost immediately it flips on us and gives us a long signal then it flips again giving us a short then it flips one more time giving us a long that one's still being played out Let's see what happens did we get to 90 we did it was super close but we got there nonetheless. Then we get the short right there. That one gets in a, gets us in a decent little decent little movement down. All right. Then we pick up a long signal here. Doesn't work out for us before it flips short right there on that one. That one does look like it got us to take profit. Yep, it definitely did. There's a long right there. That one got us to take profit. Let's see, moving along here. Then we get that one. Nice, nice. And so keep in mind that um, keep in mind, and I've explained this multiple times before. We have the 60% win uh, win loss ratio, and we're shooting uh, 
we're shooting for a one to one and a half uh, profit loss ratio. And now keep in mind that if we were actually trading, if we were actually taking these trades, we would not stop out at first take profit. We just do that for the sake of back testing. If we were actually trading this, we would allow, uh, we would take half the trade off the table at the first take profit. We would move our stop to uh, the uh, entry of the trade. And then we would allow the rest of the trade to run as far as our entry or as far as our exit indicator allows or until it gets uh, stopped out until we get stopped out for break even if it goes against us and uh, comes back the opposite direction and so keep in mind that we uh, in the uh, back test it appears that we are taking a, a profit loss ratio that is against us. But I assure you, once you start allowing some of these trades to run, it is actually going to uh, vastly offset that uh, win loss ratio. And so that seems to be a big concern by some of some of you out there. And this thing started off pretty rocky, but it seems to be doing all right now. Not too horrible. <laughs> Let's see. Surely in choppy markets, though, this thing will get annihilated. That just seems to always be the case with these single line indicators that are relying on price action to break up or below them. Anytime we hit a choppy market, they just get destroyed. Let's see. So we got a loss there, one there, one there, and it throws along. Let's see what it does. Doesn't work out for us. Neither does that short. Now we're in another long position. Let's see what it does. Can it make it? It looks like it barely made it. Let's measure it out. It did. It was super close. Oh, come on. There we go. And so again, as soon as it hits consolidation here, this thing gets beat to pieces. Let's see, a couple of losses there, and definitely a win there. All right, let's see. Shame we can't get some kind of uh, consolidation filter on this thing. If we could, could very likely do great things. That one got us to take profit there. It's getting pretty close to the end of the year. Let's see what it's doing here. So price action has definitely come up and kind of hit this level right here. Seems to be just kind of bouncing along. Let's 
Got a bad signal right there. Another one right there. And another one right there. Not sure if this is going to be able to break up and out of there. May just be a stop hunt if it does. Oh, there it goes. It made a little break. Let's see if it can sustain that level. Like I said, it might very well just be a stop hunt. Sometimes it snaps up above these areas and then almost immediately backtracks down and starts to head down in the complete opposite direction. Let's see what it does. It's come down, giving us a short signal there. That one did not work out for us. Long there, that did not work out. Then it looks like we have the short right there. Let's see if this thing's going to retrace. Like I said, may very well have just been a stop hunt. Yep, looks like we're going to lose momentum at this point. And it's going to start working its way down. So you see here, we had uh, this area of support and resistance right here. Well, uh, this would be resistance since it's heading upwards. Uh, but you see here, price action came up and kept bouncing off of it. Boom, boom, boom. And then it broke through. Once it did, it shot up and out of here for um, a decent little number of pips. I mean, it, it wouldn't have been a, a horrible trade on a breakout. But then it has um, dropped down pretty significantly hard is now starting to range out right here and when it unleashes I have a feeling that it's going to do so on the downside looks like this bump up right here was basically just a stop hunt um, by the uh, by the the market makers and and the big banks let's see what they do So we got a short right there. That didn't work out for us. Long right there. I don't think that got us. Nope. Another short right there. That didn't work out for us. Let's see. Yep, there we go. So came up. It hit this second level right up here on top. It's now starting to uh, pick up a double top right there um looks like uh what's happening in this consolidation area right here is that orders are are stacking in stacking in stacking in by the market makers uh what they're wanting to do most likely is push this market downward now they've shown that they're not interested in it going up charlotte's herald if you are watching i hope you're proud of me i paid attention in the videos and so uh let's see here uh like i said it's just kind of petering along this area right here let's get back to our indicator here let's not forget it let's not forget what we're doing there we go that one definitely got us there then we get this big big bar that drops out right here at the significant line uh, again it looks like the market makers were just piling in orders here keeping it from going up stacking in as as many orders as they can kind of holding this thing down uh, looks like now they're wanting to shove it to the downward direction let's see what happens More consolidation. 
They're really just holding this thing in place at this point. Let's see. Did a bad trade there. Looks like we probably got good trade there. Good trade. Oh, come on. Stop hitting random buttons there. All right. And come down to that short right there. See what it does. See if it can maybe break its way down. Man, that is, wow. The consolidation that's taking place there. Wow, wow, wow. It's just... holding it there they do not want it to move there's a lot of uh, a lot of orders taking place there of course this isn't based off in any kind of volume at this point because i don't have volume on the screen so it's kind of hard to see um exactly exactly where the the big money is kind of playing here but they're definitely holding it at this point. Um, what I do notice is that a lot of wicks are forming on the other, on the underside here, which makes me wonder if they aren't going to try to uh, break this out again for another run to the upside. Whatever they're doing, it's something sneaky. Let's see. Man, this thing's just, this is, uh, this is the consolidation uh, portion of this indicator that I was worried about. doesn't seem to be getting as, as beat up as I thought it would, but man, it has taken a lot of trades right here. Let's see if they can finally shove this thing in one direction or another. Oh, they've triggered in, so they've broke it up above here which would have triggered in a whole bunch of breakout traders. Let's see what they do with it. I mean, surely at this point, it's made a lot of room up here. I can't imagine they're going to let it keep going up hardly any farther. We are unfortunately right up against the end of the year i'm going to play it out a little bit here just to see what it does <laughs> oh those sneaky 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 little crooks there what are they doing <laughs> yep and there you go there you go classic manipulation right there so they broke it back up above this area consolidation. They uh, jumped in a whole bunch of traders right here. And so uh, what would happen was say you're a breakout trader and you jumped in right here on this one. Uh, let's say you put your stop right down here below this little area. Let's say right here. This little, uh, this little swing low, like most would, then it came up before you got any kind of decent profit. It dropped down, smashed through your stop, stopped you out. Then it broke back up above this point right here. Um, and so uh, even more breakout traders would have said, oh, look at this massive um, engulfing candle right here to the upside. And so they would have jumped in as well triggering in a whole new lot of long traders and then they would have put their stops right in this area right below here and as you see they immediately smashed it down and they wiped out all those stops and then they finally drove it to the downside like I suspected they were going to eventually do <laughs> sneaky sneaky all right so there we have it that is 
the uh, end of the year there. That's what we got. Let's count them out and see what we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, and 56. 56 all together. Man, that's a lot of trades. Okay, let's see here. Let's count out the winners. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. And so, unfortunately, that is not going to meet the 60% criteria. Um, it is an over-trader. It was throwing signals in a lot of crazy areas. And so, yeah, unfortunately, that's just not going to quite work out for us. We need something that's a little bit more dialed in, something that's a little bit more tame, something that's throwing signals at appropriate places. And this one... Uh, just wasn't doing it for us. So it's going on the no list and we will move on to the next indicator from here. If you have not already, like this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime I post a new video. As part of the team, it's important that you are seeing the new videos as they come out so you know what it is that we are discussing and what indicators we are testing, have tested, and have not tested. Also, like usual, there is a link below in the description to the Discord server. You can join us on Discord so that way we can further discuss the indicators and have discussions as we move forward building our trading system. And lastly, like usual, there is a link below to TradingView. If you like what you see whenever I use TradingView and you are interested in signing up for TradingView, if you use the link below and sign up for a paid account, you will save a little bit of money. So, all right, everybody, I will see you.